Welcome to, welcome back to Andy Con Trains. I'd like to thank everybody for the subscriptions, positive feedback, especially all the comments. Today's video will be about how I'm making my roads on my HO layout. This technique could be used for any scale. All right, what we have here is some hobby wood taped down. Hobby Lobby's about 10 minutes from me. They have a lot of this, comes in 36 inch lengths, makes it easy for roads. Basically what I'm doing is making a form like you would if you're pouring concrete. I use ready-made joint compound, readily available at your local hardware store. So you get a clump and just spread it out some. What's good about this material, you do have a lot of work time. Try not to go over your borders. You have to go back and clean it up. So for now, we're just gonna spread it out with a small putty knife. Spray it a little bit, we'll loosen it up. Make sure your tools are fairly clean. Have something available to clean them off as you work. So with the larger knife, you just wanna go over and spread your compound. What's nice is the wood makes for a real firm, even area to spread across. So you just want to go back any areas that are low spots. Any extra material you can just spread somewhere else that's empty. Now I'll take that extra, put it on the bucket. So if you have a low spot, just put a little more material in that spot, work it in with your small knife for the time being, get in here along the edges. So now we'll just go back. We'll fill in their extra in that spot. Once again, make sure you keep your, your knife clean. You just want to use a little bit of water and go back over your, your low spot here. It kind of helps spread it a little more. Do your extra in your container, just take it back to where you uh, left off. If you make a, a spot that you're not a fan of on accident, it's not a big deal. Like I said, you can just go right back over it. And if it dries, just sand it and you're good. I like to let this cure for at least like 12 hours before I even think about sanding it or painting it. So far I've used this method 
on most of the layout. I've had very good results, hasn't cracked yet. Anybody doing this for a larger scale, such as O scale, they don't recommend doing this more than an eighth of an inch just to keep from cracking. Like once again, just start filling in your spots. You just need enough in here for it to spread once you use the larger knife. And even if you have some weird spots, real roads aren't perfect. So it makes it easy to have some imperfections. When you are ready to make your final pass, be sure you clean it off real well. I have used the Smooth It system. It's It does work pretty good. I think it's basically just a plastic material or hydrocal. I like this because if you have a lot of work time and you can buy a whole bucket for fairly cheap and it goes a long way. And if you do need to do some drywall repair on your house, you, you have material. Once this is all dry, I just go back and sand it with 400 usually, and then I'll paint it with Woodland Scenics Asphalt. I might do this one in concrete, I'm not sure yet. For whatever reason, I really like their pigment for the asphalt roads. I feel like the color is just perfect. I'm sure I could go to the store and buy a couple different dollar acrylic paints in the craft section and get the same color which I'll probably try doing next time I'm at Hobby Lobby. But until then, I'll be using the Woodland Scenics road paving asphalt color. Now I'm going back over to road already made. It's not a big deal. I'll go back and sand and repaint that anyway. So it's been about 20 minutes since I left off. Here's that transition. I'll sand that and smooth that out. The bridge, I filled that in with plaster of Paris, but there was a goofy gap there. So that's not the same material. Just the heads up. All these little imperfections are fine. They can get sanded out. Here's the industrial park, which this was done a while ago. That's what the finished product looks like. Here's a little imperfections. This area here is the air dry clay. Don't mind my buildings, they're all over out of the way so I can make my road. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for all the positive feedback on my channel. Thank you for all the comments, the views, and the likes. Stay tuned for more. And don't forget, on Thursday, for the O-Scale followers, we'll be back to the O-Scale layout. Thank you all, and have a good night.